you know with time the pain fades away but it's not necessarily that time will heal you so that's why i want you to understand that god is a healer Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So excited for today's video. It's been a while guys. I know it's been a while. I wish I was more consistent and I'm going to try to because I feel like there's a lot that God has put into my heart that I want to share with you guys. So I'm going to try to do this video consistently. Please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Like this video, share this video. Let's get into today's video. We are talking about what to work on after a failed relationship what to work on after a failed relationship i know so many of us wait on time to heal us you know wait on time to heal because there's this famous saying time heals you know with time the pain fades away but it's not necessarily that time will heal you so that's why i want you to understand that god is a healer and i'm going to try and do that by showing you that there's a lot to work on after a relationship more than just waiting for the pain to fade away first scripture that we'll turn to is first corinthians 15 verse 33 do not be deceived bad company corrupts good character so i know you were dating this person uh maybe for fun or maybe even you were deeply in love or something like that but you probably spent so much time with that person you spoke on the phone with that person for long hours you may have enjoyed their company but it doesn't mean that it was good company so if it was bad company that means it corrupted your good character for example if that person was selfish that means that you it kind of like rubbed on you you started being a little bit more selfish like them if they had so much pride that means that you're probably now a little bit more prideful what did they normalize that i've come to normalize that is not good for me and that is not generally what i believe so after a failed relationship don't just wait for the pain to fade away also work on your character scripture 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 john 8 verse 12 the bible says Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. You don't want to continue in darkness. So Jesus says, I am the light of the world. So I would advise you, if you want anything to change in you, start to pursue God. So go to Jesus, start following him. If your character was corrupted, you're probably walking in darkness. But Jesus says, I've come to give you light. I'm the light of the world. You can't walk with me and continue in darkness. That is not going to happen. So if you go to Jesus, whatever that person, I don't care if it was a bad thing. I don't care if it seems like it's difficult for you to, you know, detox from it. But I'm telling you right now that if you go back to God, he will transform you. So there's no need for you to be frustrated about it. Be like, oh my gosh, that person, what did that? Nah, 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 nah. Whatever they used to normalize that you didn't normalize, but you started normalizing after meeting them, you can still work on it and start detoxing and transforming and changing and becoming a better person by walking with jesus by following jesus you follow jesus because he's the light and you're in darkness you cannot walk continue to walk in darkness stumbling and falling so at the end of the day guys my biggest advice to you is follow jesus because he is the light and you are in darkness you don't know yourself completely god knows where and what he has for you he knows the the proper version of you so you want to go to someone who knows the proper version of you for them to you know reset after all of that bad character that has been out of your character that has been corrupted you want him to reset put you in the right mind put you in the proper setting where you should be so d talks by following jesus the next point guys what to work on after that failed relationship is how you see yourself being around or let me just say dating someone means that a lot of emotions are involved when you're in love <laughs> you know uh you might be blinded by the love you might be so deep into the love you want to show them the best you want to be the best to them you want to you know what they say matters you want to listen to them you give them a giving a hearing ear you're, you're sort of like their support system i don't care if you, you're not deep in love or not deepest in love or whatever but you do have some type of feelings and emotions attached to them however they see you may affect how you see yourself whatever they believe that you wear whatever they believe they knew about you and told you that they think about you may affect how you see yourself so i'm going to go to the scripture numbers chapter 13 verse 33 it's the time when the israelites got to canaan 
and now they're getting to Canaan and they're seeing people that stayed in Canaan, you know, in this land, in this land that the Lord had promised them. They were giants. So they're saying, ah, uh, when we saw them, and to ourselves we seemed like grasshoppers, so we seemed to them. You see? And to ourselves we seemed like grasshoppers, and so we seemed to them. So they're not just assuming that they were, they look like grasshoppers. They also felt like those guys are looking at us and seeing grasshoppers. So it affected how they also see so themselves they knew they were small physically and they thought they would look like grasshoppers and also they think that those guys when they're looking them they're looking at them think that they're grasshoppers so that's how they got their impression they assume that obviously these guys think that we're grasshoppers we see ourselves we see grasshoppers so i don't know what that person that you were in a relationship with did to you or say to you or thought of you but it might affect the way you see yourself what if they were lying what if they're lying that you're a difficult person what if they are lying that you're selfish? What if they are lying that you're prideful? What if they were lying to you? What if they didn't even mean it? What if they just tried to provoke you? What if they are just liars? Or what if their eyes can't see well? Look at those guys. Those are the Israelites. The same Israelites who God delivered out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand. Look at their God. But look at them at this very moment. They're looking at those guys and they think they're grasshoppers and they said so we seemed to them that means that not only did we see ourselves as grasshoppers they also saw us, us as grasshoppers so i don't know how healthy the relationship that you're coming from was but i do know that in most relationships many people try to, to make their impression of you be your impression of yourself they try to, to make you see yourself the way that they see you so you better start working on yourself you better start working on how you see yourself so after a relationship, you just, just say, okay, I'm waiting for time to heal me. You go back and you say, what, how did that person make me feel less of myself? How did that person make me feel like I wasn't enough? As if like I would never be enough for anyone. How did that person make me feel like I'm not as this or as that? How was I confident before I met them? Before I met them, I used to be confident in this, but now I'm no longer confident because they shut up my confidence. You know, there's a lot that comes with rejection. There's a lot that comes with not feeling love. There's a lot that comes with a breakup. There's a lot that comes with a failed relationship. So you need to go back and say, how did they see me and how did I think me? But listen, after they say that, this is what I want you to do. Caleb didn't forget what God did. Caleb didn't forget what God did for them. Caleb goes on and says, nah, 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 nah. If the Lord is pleased with us, guys, he will bring us into this land and give it to us. A land that flows with milk and honey. And do not fear the people of the land, for they are no more than bread for us. Their protection is removed from them, and the Lord is with us. Do not fear them. So I'm going to encourage you to. I do not know how they changed your impression of yourself, how they changed how you see yourself. I do not know. I wasn't there. I do not even know how they changed you and how you see yourself after them. But I want to tell you right now that you shouldn't be afraid. If the Lord is with you, whatever impression of you they impacted on you or imparted on you or rubbed off on you, that is not you. I am telling you now that when if the Lord is with you, just be sure that the Lord is with you. Just go back to God and say, be with me. And then you start on that and say, Lord, I want to see a change. I want to see a change. I don't even know who exactly I am after this person. They changed a lot of things about me. But I'm being honest with myself by coming to you, Lord, and say, I do not know how I've been affected. But I know I have been affected. And I want to change. And I know that you can help me change. Then the Lord will start leading you to parts of transformation. The Lord will help you change your mindset about yourself. The word of God has everything to tell you about who you really are. No one else that had, from the failed relationship or from whatever, they may tell you that around us you have this type of weaknesses, but they don't know the, 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 the product that God created. The creator is the one that knows you best. So if the people around you tell you, ah, you have this characteristic, that's your weakness, they're right. But they don't know that God can fix it and then your whole name, your whole reputation and the you that they saw can be transformed into another you that is amazing that the Lord wants you to be. So go back and say, Lord, I think I now am selfish after that person. I feel like I am now so self-defense. I trust issues after that person. I feel like I I am on defense mode every time after that person because I, I had to defend myself in every moment of every argument of the relationship i felt like i had to defend myself so i feel like i'm more of a defensive person now so lord help me please help me i don't even know how to work with it 
but then he says mm -mm, it's gonna be bread for you your transformation is going to be bread for you. it's easy peasy because the lord will be with you so even if it's it's whatever the transfer however the transformation will be just make sure that god is a part of it start working on it and say the minute that you realize that you need transformation the transformation has already started so go back and say lord help me i don't even know who my who i am anymore i don't even know what i should do anymore you know i go back and then the lord will tell you mm -mm, because you have come to me and humbled yourself enough to pray to me humbled yourself enough to come to me and bow and say lord i am weak in this area lord i think i i need to detox you know and you didn't wait for time but you came to me then i'll give you the best healing go back to the word and find out what god says about you your true identity lies in the word your true identity is known by god not that person that you're dating yes you may have weaknesses yes they were right your weakness is this and their weakness is that maybe they were right but that doesn't define you your weaknesses don't define you go back for your real identity which is found in christ i know you are carrying a lot of burdens from your failed past relationships but i am here with good news i am here with good news the word of god says in Matthew chapter 11 verse 28, come to me all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens and I will give you rest. Ha! I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and humble in heart. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Guys, go to God. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there's no better place to get healing than with God. Jesus says, come to me, all you that have heavy burdens. I know you're carrying so much baggage from your past relationships. So detox, guys. Time for detox. Time for detox. Work on yourself, you know, and make sure to do it right. Do it with God. Short story time about me just to really show you. I, I was once, you know, in a space where I felt like uh, my weaknesses were being magnified. So I felt like a difficult person because this person couldn't understand me. They would magnify my weaknesses so much so that I couldn't see that I could be a good person too. So in my head, I would just go like, oh my gosh, I'm such a difficult person to deal with. And you know, it affected me. Anyone that would just see me as not so difficult to handle, I would assume that, you know, wow, they do me a favor for thinking that I'm not that difficult person. I had changed how I see myself because I was thinking that since that person thought I was a difficult person, I probably was. So it affected how I would, my relations with everyone else around me. So I would probably compromise in a lot of ways so that people don't say I'm a difficult person and compromise the good things too. So that's why I know that this is important for you to know that time just doesn't time doesn't heal with time the pain fades away haven't you heard of people who have trust issues because whoever they were dating was cheating on them now they have trust issues haven't you heard of people who have rejection issues you felt so rejected that every time you're in a relationship when someone threatens to reject you reject them first because you're afraid of rejections all of those things may affect how you act now learn from your past experiences but don't let them weigh you down don't be ignorant of the impact that those past relationships had in your life work on whatever negative impact they've had on you do not lie to yourself be honest with yourself i'm not saying tell everyone your problems i'm saying with yourself go on forward and say this is a problem that i have so be honest with yourself i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe like this video share this video let's grow this channel guys whatever you do guys don't forget that you cannot do it best without god so if you want to start your journey and transformation journey please do it with god bye guys